Hi everyone, today we are going to go over how to navigate your degree audit in DegreeWorks. This tool is used to track your progress at Wayne State as you work towards completing your degree. While it is a helpful tool, it is no replacement to talking to your advisor and making sure you're on the right track. Remember to set up appointments with your advisor when you're confused about your academic requirements or want to make any changes to your degree. To get to the DegreeWorks website, you want to first log on to the Academica website, which we highly recommend you save as a bookmark so that you can easily access it whenever you need. Once you're logged on into Academica, you want to navigate to the left side where you will see a tab labeled Resources. Under Resources, you want to click the title that says Student Resources. Here is where you will find the DegreeWorks link that will take you to the correct website. Once you're on the website, you will see information about yourself, including your student ID, your GPA, your assigned advisor, and more. Under this information, you will see a green bar that shows how much of your degree requirements you have completed so far. If you scroll further down the page, you will see many different requirements that will make up your degree, including your general education requirements, which every Duane State student has to complete, and then the more specific requirements for your major and any minors you may have. Under each specific section, DegreeWorks will show the classes that you will need to take to fulfill your degree. Classes highlighted in red with empty boxes are the ones you still need to take. The classes highlighted in yellow with checked boxes indicate that you've successfully completed that required course and earned the credits towards your degree. You might see some classes highlighted in blue with a squiggle in the box, but don't worry. This just means you are currently registered for the course but still need to complete it in order to receive the credits. If you scroll down to the very bottom of the page, you will see a section labeled Legend that helps you understand all the possible symbols you may see on your degree works page. If you are coming in with credit from another college or AP or IB credit, you may see some courses already appear in your degree works. If these courses fulfill a graduation requirement, you will see the courses appear in the corresponding area. Some of your courses may not correspond to a specific class, and so these will show up at the bottom of your degree works in the electives section. If you hover over one of the course numbers on the page, you will see the name of the course and the credits it's worth. Each course number is actually a link that will open up another window. In this pop-up window, you can see specific information about that class such as its name, course description, what upcoming terms the class could be offered, along with possible times and dates within that semester. You can also see how many seats are still available for each of the sections and find the corresponding CRN or course reference number for each class. This CRN will help you identify the specific class section you are interested in and you can add this directly in your registration portal. Now if you go back to the main page, you can look at another cool feature of DegreeWorks, which is the What If tab on the left hand side. This What If tab helps you visualize different paths you can take towards completing your degree if you decide to change or add different majors or minors in different degree programs. Any What If scenarios should be done alongside your advisor, who can help you figure out what the best course of action is depending on your goals. Let's say you want to see the requirements for you to receive a Bachelor of Science in Public Health with a minor in Art. You would first go to the degree section and choose Bachelor of Science, along with the upcoming academic term. Under the Choose Your Different Areas of Study section, you would select the major and minor, which in our case is Public Health and Art. If you add the wrong information, you can always click on the one that you want to remove and hit the Remove button. Certain major and minor programs will require concentrations, so it may be beneficial to look over the list in the Concentration tab to see what best interests you. Your advisor will help you figure out if that's needed for what your academic goals are. When you select the Process What If button, you'll be able to see any additional requirements you need to complete in order to receive the new public health major and art minor we entered. This is a great tool you can use to explore all the possible majors and minors you're interested in to find what's right for you. We hope this quick introduction to the main functions of DegreeWorks is helpful to you. It's also important to keep in mind that even though DegreeWorks can be helpful for you to plan out your courses and see your progress, the best step is to make an appointment with your advisor so they can show you more features of DegreeWorks and the both of you can work out what's better for your personal needs. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this video helpful.